everyone welcome to the mama elephant june 15th release this is arena i hope you are all staying safe and doing well this release is super fun it's full of fall and halloween vibes remember to leave a comment down below mama elephant will select a random winner in the four videos for this month to win a stamp set First up, we have Jump for Joy. I really love this set. You can create two different scenes. One is a pile of letters and the other is the pile of leaves. And also the coordinating dies come with a slit so you can tuck in your animals in the different piles. I'll show you how that works in a bit. My favorite image in the stamp set is the pile of leaves. I thought they were so fun to color and you can color them in different colors or one color, whatever you want. Here's a look at the coordinating dies for Jump for Joy. As you can see the two different piles, you'll see that there's an area of the die where it cuts a slit and you can choose to tuck in little animals in there if you like. Next up is Happy Word Banners, and these are similar to the ones that were a holiday version. These are super fun. They come with coordinating dies, and you can have um, little critters holding each end of the banner, or you can use it as a sentiment on your card. Here's a look at the coordinating dies for Happy Word Banners. I did cut them all out, and I will read them and show you what the die cuts look like in a bit. I'll be using Copic markers today, and here's the color palette we're using. I wanted to go for a kind of a subtle autumn color palette, and those are the colors I'm using, mostly um, oranges and yellows. So I'm going to start off by coloring this leaf pile, but in the stamp set, you can create two different types of scenes. One is a pile of letters, so cute and also this pile of leaves. For this card I'm making today, I'm going to use the leaf pile, and I'm just going to color them in kind of like a mustard color and a rust color. So I'm just trying to evenly distribute the color, and this marker that I'm using right now is, I think it's YR18, and it is like literally the color of autumn. Um, so I'm just doing the two different colors, the rust and the mustard, and then I'm trying to like evenly space the leaves um, just so it looks um, even throughout. Um, so that was super fun. I colored two of these piles. I really loved coloring this. And then you don't have to do different colors either. You can also color it um, one leaf color if you like. I believe this stamp set was illustrated by Chrissy, who is one of the owners of Mama Elephant. Here I'm coloring the little mouse. I think I'm using e-colors for this. Love it, and I love these elephants, so cute. And for my card, I'm gonna try to make them look like they're just having fun jumping in the leaves. For the gray color of the elephants, I'm using W5 and W3, just simple coloring. I'm just trying to keep the outside darker than the inside. And then also the inside of the ears are R20 and the pads of the feet are R20 as well. I wanted to make another slim line box card. So I'm using the die set that was released last month, the Slim Scenescape Builder, and that was a collaboration between Mama Elephant and Kiwi, um, who is part of the design team. She's Kiwi Concepts on Instagram. And I thought these would be perfect for that box card. Um, so part of that die set has a banner. So I'm stamping out the sentiment from the stamp set onto the banner um, and then I'll be building out the box card. So last month there was a full tutorial on how to um, make the box card but I'll make it here uh, real quick. So I cut out the banner piece and the different rectangle pieces so I'm just layering um, everything on the front of the box now. This is the front piece. I'm using yellow and orange as my box colors. 
So I always like to do the sentiment kind of first and layer it up. So I have the back piece and I'm adhering the side pieces to it. This box is super easy to make. Once you've made one, um, you'll totally know how to do it. I have that smaller rectangle piece because I want my box to look a little bit layered. And this is a lighter um, yellow colored cardstock. I just wanted there to be a little bit of difference between the two yellows. Now I'm going to take my hills and then I'm going to adhere them to the side pieces. And there's also an angled side piece, but I'm using the straight one. And I'm adhering it using my grid mat, making it a quarter inch apart. And it fits perfectly with the three hills and the front of the box. Super easy, you just wanna make sure everything is lined up the same way it was on the left side, on the right side, and just flip over the side piece. Um, on top of those different layers and it should all work together. Super easy, I love it. So now we're going to decorate the box. Um, my sentiment was a little bit off-centered so I did add a critter. Um, I'm adding the layers on top of the side pieces and I like to use a contrasting color that also helps with the stability of your box. So we have our fun images and there's that slit and you can tuck things inside and I think that is such a super idea. It just makes it a little bit more realistic. I love the decorating part. So my sentiment seemed off center to me so I added that tiny little mouse there to balance things out. And so now I'm wanted a elephant to be tucked in. So I tucked him in and I kind of washi taped it in the back to keep him in there. And then I'm going to add that to the first hill in the middle. I just wanted it to look like they were having like a leaf party, <laughs> just jumping around in the leaves. Um, I'm also using the happy word banners, one of them. This one says celebrate good times. I thought it would be cute to just kind of have it hanging off to the side there. Um, and I'll read off the other sentiments later. And then now I have my second leaf pile. I loved coloring those. Um, and then I'm just going to put it in the back for like a little bit of um, just so the back has something. And then now I'm going to take some strips of acetate and then I'm going to have some of my images floating because I want it to look like elephants are jumping all over the place. Um, so I will adhere the acetate, the strip of acetate to the image and then adhere the acetate to one of the hills. And I'm just spreading all of the different critters apart. Um, I just like to make it to where every section of the box has um, something so it looks nice and full. Um, some of these I colored twice, like I colored two of the same elephants just so I would have um, three. And so I really like using the acetate. I did take a bunch of acetate and I just pre-cut the strips so they're ready to go. And I always cut them um, longer than they need to be and then I cut it to size after I adhere it to the hill. Um, I'm going to tuck in a little mouse in the back there because you have to, if, <laughs> if there's a slit, you have to tuck in an animal inside. So. I couldn't resist, so I added that little mouse. So now I had colored in a lot of the tiny little leaves that are separate from the pile, and I want them to be flying about. So I'm also attaching those single leaves to the acetate strips, and then I'm just gonna put them where I feel like there are empty spots that need to be filled, um, just so the card looks more fuller. And I kinda like the idea of having those random leaves just be like hanging out, like flying in the air. I really enjoyed making this box and I don't know, there's something about the tiny leaves like just floating that I love so much. 
So I'm just continuing to add more stuff until I'm satisfied with the final look. I wish I had cut out more of the tinier leaves. Um, and then I wanted to add um, more to the back because it looked a little plain to me. So clouds didn't really make sense. So I did cut out some stars. So I'm going to be adding some white stars to the background just to break up that yellow a bit. I wanted to read out the happy word banners. So that first one is celebrate good times, which I used already. Here is happy everything, birthday wishes, make a wish come true, with all my love, happily ever after, congratulations, special delivery, and happy birthday to you. And that is it. I'm calling this card done. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Stay safe and happy crafting. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.